Fermentation of chicken feed is an anaerobic process and it leads to a better feed conversion ratio in broilers and better exercise in layer and it also lowers your feed cost. Join me as I teach you the process. If you are yet to subscribe, kindly subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for this lecture. On the course of fermentation, you can ferment any feed you currently give your chickens, whether it's crumble, pellet, whole grain or seed. Anyone that you are giving to your chicken can be fermented. In fermenting chicken feed, you should have three drums. That is, a feed should be fermented for at least three days before being used. The first day of soaking your grains or feed, it greatly improves their digestibility by reducing the phytic acid and enzyme inhibitors that is found in grain, seed or legumes. So that is the function, that is the work that is being done in that first day. That is the day one function. So I told you, you have to soak it for three days and each day you have to bucket, then you you reverse back to the day you soak it. That is, you have three buckets, the one, two, three. If you soak Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, that is the one, two, three. By Thursday, you have to use the one you soak, the one, and you replace it back. Then Friday, you use the one you soak at the two, and you replace it back. By the second day, lactic acid bacteria begins process of fermentation by consuming the sugars in the grains and multiplying the great numbers, producing lactic acid. The lactic acid in turn makes the environment unsuitable for the bad bacteria in the feed, leaving behind only beneficial microbes. That is the function of the two. Now, day three. Let's ferment this day three together so that you can um, see the process, how I do mine, how I ferment my own feed. There are different methods by different scientists, different farmer of fermenting feed, but I will show you how I ferment my own feed so now i'm going to uh pour feed in this the three bucket just half bucket of feed then i'll add or i'll pour water in it i'll be using non chlorinated water so municipal water is chlorinated water i've told the time without number so you have to use a non chlorinated water so as i said you pour half dry feed in the bucket and you fill it up with water you have to leave enough space for the feed to be able to uh, expand because it will definitely expand so that's why anything you're using ferment any bucket any drum half is enough then the thing will ferment and double so always leave that space so not only does fermentation preserve vitamins in your grains or in your feed it also creates new vitamins Primarily B vitamins like folic acid, riboflavin, niacin, and thiamine. That is one of the benefits of fermenting your feed. So while fermenting, I told you, try to mix very well, then you pour water. As you can see, I've mixed very well. There's no dry feed on that, so I will pour a good number of water before I will leave it for proper fermentation so you can see i try to use my hand or you use a tony stick to stay very well so that it can mix evenly after this mixing we are going to be adding um more uh, we are going to be adding molasses to it molasses is used as a microbial energy source in a wide range is used to grow yeast molds and beneficial bacteria which transform sugar to alcohol yeast citric acid and food additives like uh, monosodium glutamate and lysine so you can't ferment your feed properly without adding molasses to it so molasses as i told you is a good microbial energy source so you can see i've added a good there's no uh, um significant or there's no um a fixed quantity of molasses that should be added you just add a good number that you think is okay um then you mix evenly you mix very well as you can see i'm using my hand to mix evenly after adding the molasses after adding you can see i'm still fermenting and the half bucket of feed is almost filling up the bucket so you can see what i'm saying you have to leave enough space you don't you don't uh, pour all the you don't occupy the bucket with dry uh, feed 
so after mixing and you leave enough space you close you are going to do it anaerobically that is absent of um air so you close it and time without number you open like after some five five hours twelve hours you stay and if there's need to add water you add water to it don't over add too much water as you can see from the previous one i did the water is not too much when you check it some hour you see that they will be like this day one so now why we are not adding too much water is we don't want to filter when you filter uh, some micronutrient or some feed additives will be filtered out and your chicken will be deprived of those uh, micronutrients like thiamine, like lysine, all those things will be fit out because they are water soluble. So we just try to make it, you are going to be cautious of the water you add to your um, fermenting feed. That is why when you ferment, you'll be checking time without number, you're adding just little, little water when there is a need to add water. And if you discover that the water is too much and you want to give the fermented feed to your chicken, you can add dry feed to it to make it uh, more uh, soluble for them to be it. So I don't encourage uh, uh, filtering out the fermented water. And if you must filter out the fermented water, the water used in fermentation, you can give it to your chicken to drink as a drinking water yes they love it they drink it and it's good for them so if you must filter a water out then give it to them they will drink and it will be okay so now as you can see when you want to um, after fermenting your feed you can add some drug or some things that don't need fermentation that you are giving to your best like either charcoal or you are giving them methylene or any any drug you want to add to their feed can be hard to the fermented feed anything at all you want to add to the feed it can be hard to it so you don't ferment some drugs that are needed to be you can you shouldn't add charcoal or you add methylene or you add any other drug you want to give to your base and ferment no you add it after fermentation and you administer the feed to your birds you can see them they enjoy it they are eating it and they are chilling with it so fermenting of feed, chicken feed does not just um enlarge the quantity of feed but it also adds good beneficial bacteria to the feed thereby eliminating the bad bacteria so thereby making your um your chicken health to be perfect strong you'll be resistant to disease as you are trying to save costs and this help the feed conversion ratio because the dry feed for the chicken to digest the dry feed is a lot of work for them but when you pre-digest it it helps the system to just um, digest the remaining one easily and it will be used for flesh therefore you will not overstress the system of the bear in digesting the feed and it's a lot lot more for them you can see different uh, stages of um, chicken can eat this fermenting feed from even day one you can start giving your chicken fermented feed you can see this um two weeks plus going to three weeks chicken they are eating fermenting feed and them today enjoy it too so fermentation of feed is very good very um very nutritious it save cause and it helps your chicken to eliminate bad bacteria. Please adapt to this in your farming um, practices and it really helps you. Thank you. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. I love you. Bye.